This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. <laughs> that was the shortest skit ever! <laughs> that was the shortest skit of them all. And it was glorious. Sachi does... Yeah, Sachi could ever head in the clouds for a bit. That's fair. <laughs> Yumiko is very genre savvy. It's generally well known that rabbits can die if they get lonely, lonely enough. Okay, nice transition. You might assume that means that you should be petting your bunnies at all times, but in fact, excessive contact can stress their nerves badly enough to inspire escaped attempts. Moderation is the rule in our interactions with other creatures. But human beings have a hard time finding that balance even when we try. All too often, we clumsily misjudge the appropriate distance, or stumble in our attempts to maintain it. Okay, enough, Makina. What's up? Yeah, sounds bad. A crisis, to be sure. A recess period. Makina pops up noisily before my eyes, then proceeds to grab at my clothes to shake me back and forth. I ward her off with one hand, paying little attention to the specific content of her squawking. <laughs> that was the end of the last skit. Yeah, that I, I get it. But it was more just the trans... It transitioned to that scene. There was, like, two lines of dialogue, and then it ended. <laughs> <laughs> what what happened to Sachi? Next scene. Rabbits can die easily. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the transitions are interesting. <laughs> well, I assume you're just babbling. Can't say I'm sensing a whole lot of danger right now. Oh, Makina, why does your voice have to be so shrill on the ears? That tr that scene was... That, <laughs> that effect was amazing, though. Also, nice square mouth. I can't do anything about my face. Leaving that aside, I suppose it wouldn't do to ignore a global crisis. <laughs> That's a pretty dramatic drop in scale, you little punk. Well, this is an anime. Oh, wait. What the hell are you even talking about? Even if I could do about the dirty jokes of this game, the, like, special effects are A+. Plus. Oh. And the sprites. The sprites in the CGs are also really good quality. Makina is one thing, but if Amine is backing her up, I guess that does warrant my attention. <laughs> I wonder if I either this or the anime, because I know there's an anime, I wonder if there's a dubbed version, because I'd kind of be interested to hear how these characters would sound in English. <laughs> Although I don't know how you would do, like, the English... Speaking lesson in English. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to get out of hand if everyone jumps into the conversation. But just as I'm about to shoo away the two late arrivals. For some reason, Amine jabs out her finger in my direction and powerfully declares something or other. I'd appreciate it if you could explain what it is a little more comprehensively than that. There is a dub. Hmm. I have no idea what this woman is talking about. Does leading a normal student life require the ability to find enjoyment in this sort of vague, meaningless riddle? In that case, I've still got a ways to go. Oh? So we're talking about Sakaki. <laughs> Everyone's objecting, saying no, there's no dub. Okay. <laughs> okay, I believe you. We're finally on the same page. I use the word everyone when only five of us are here. Amine suggesting my unconscious exclusion of Sakaki Yumiko from the group suggests a problem in our social dynamic. So, there's no, there's no English lessons in the anime, but that's the best part of the game thus far. <laughs> There's very little from here that's in the anime. It's not very good. Well, 
I don't know how long the anime was, but if this game is as long as people are making it out to be, if it's like as long as Clannad, they're gonna have to cut some stuff out unless they have like ten seasons. Sakaki-san, is it really good? I thought it was. She's keeping her distance out of her own free will, so presumably this is how she wants it to be. I don't think it's necessarily something we need to worry about. I do wonder about that, though, because as an introvert myself, it's easy to just keep my distance. But also, there are times where I'm like, it would be cool if I could join that group, but I don't want to bother them, or I don't think, I think that would be awkward. I am, I am a little interested to learn more about Yumiko, because apart from the whole murder thing and her sour attitude, I feel like she and I actually have a bit of in common. The anime is 13 episodes, common route plus all heroine routes included. Okay, yeah, so they're going to have to cut out like 90% of the story. <laughs> wow. Hmm. I hadn't thought about it that way, but she might be onto something. Granted, I a lot of this VN is fluff. Like the skits probably aren't that important, but at the same time, that would make for an enjoyable watch, I would imagine, for people who are fans of the VN. Because I like the skit system. Sakaki's a human being, after all. Much as her box-cutter brandishing mischief may stand out, letting those moments of hostility prejudice all of our in interactions with her means giving up on all hope of mutual understanding. Baboom! <laughs> How did you reach that conclusion? Do you have any evidence whatsoever? <laughs> I'm, you know what? I'm beginning to think that everybody's a robot. Okay, you can stop talking now. <laughs> yeah, there's good reason to be scared of her. It sounded like she said baboom. <laughs> I think I think Michiru is just because your personality and Yumiko's are clash a lot. A contest? <laughs> 50 points if you can throw the book through Myrtle's face. <laughs> is it my imagination or is this sounding increasingly fishy? Also potentially dangerous. Yeah, you're gonna get cut. Her hair is nice. You people are sociopaths! Sachi. You know, Sachi, there are, there are a couple of moments where you start scaring me. This is not gonna end well. This is gonna go bad. This is gonna go bad. I bet you Sachi's gonna get way into it in the game, like, just cut all of Yumiko's hair, be like, I win, and then Yumiko. Yumiko could just be like run off in tears, or she could also just go on a murderous spree. Yeah. Honestly, the only one that doesn't scare me is Michiru. Like, there's definitely something going on with her, but like, I feel like she's pretty harmless. This is not good. Yumiko could pull off a shaved head. I don't want to see that. 
If you cut off 100 centimeters of 100 strands of hair, then that would be 10,000 points. Okay, I'm starting to get slightly concerned. Can we slow it down here for a second? Are you seriously all going to do this? My voice of restraint falls on deaf ears. The rest of the group is ex getting more fired up by the second. <laughs> Water ASMR, yes. That's one thing you'll get when Artie streams. Water ASMR. Yeah, Yumiko is going to kill somebody. My prediction, in one of the roots, and possibly one of the bad endings, Yumiko will kill somebody. I'm predicting that. Is this just a dream sequence? A book reading Sakaki? What does that even mean? Please explain in detail. Was it a, a surreal gag? Did Amine trip over her ton in her increasingly frantic excitement? At this rate, I'll likely never know the truth. The bizarre conversation rolls forward, momentum building by the second. You'd think everyone involved was hitting the peak of a chemical-induced high. It might just be my imagination, but sometimes I think I may have found my way into a fairly deranged excuse for a learning environment. Yeah, deranged! That's a, that's a word that could be accurate. I have a feeling some of these people will be or are deranged. <laughs> So, so, so basically, Marty, you're predicting that Michiru and Makina are unable to kill people. <laughs> Alright, that's that's a fair prediction. I feel like Yumiko and Sachi would honestly be the most likely. Because I feel like Sachi... I feel like if we were like, hey, Sachi, uh, can you kill this person? Like, she might do it. She actually might. <laughs> if you're like, this person is absolutely terrible and, like, <laughs> hurt me really badly, can you kill them? And she'd be like, of course. Why are you all doing this? Do you people actually hate Sakaki or what? The enthusiastic group of conspirators don't dignify my perfectly reasonable question with a response. Yeah, there was definitely a CG in, like, the opening scene of Makina holding a shotgun and aiming it at someone. So I think Makina might, well, kill somebody in her route as well. No one- yeah, th this is the problem when you're the voice of reason. Oftentimes her words fall on deaf ears. Also, I can't believe Yuji is the voice of reason. Tragically, for Sakaki, the next recess period arrives all too quickly. <laughs> I believe that is the, the noble thing to do. You don't want to be a tattletale, but this is a situation where telling is what you need to do. Fine. Why are we getting this, like, upbeat sports music for this horrible thing that's about to happen? Fine, fine, let's get this over with. To be honest, I seriously doubt that this is going to get us any closer with Sakaki. This is going to drive a bigger wedge there! But giving the same game away would probably make things just as awkward in its own way. And so I've adopted the typically Japanese policy of watching passively over the situation from a safe distance. Ooh, burn. Somehow, I don't think that's what Japan did in um, one of the wars. What was it again? I think it involved the whole world, but I, I don't want to say. Sakaki Yumiko, the unexplored territory, the final frontier, seated at her desk, face buried in a thick book. Her body language projects a desire to be left alone. <sighs> Who will die? I don't think anyone will die yet, because we haven't split off into a route yet. I have a feeling that this could either enter, end very anticlimactically with her figuring out what they're going to try to do. It could end with Yumiko cutting somebody but not killing them. It could end with Yumiko threatening to cut people but not doing it, or it could end with her just running away in tears. You decide. I am actually picturing it'll end anticlimactically. The Suo Amane expedition takes the first daring step into the wilderness. Her approach appears impressively natural. Woman's something of a skilled actress, apparently. Of course, she could probably be putting that talent to better use than this, but... Mm -hmm. 
何か演出の話かしら<笑>いやいやいやそんなんじゃなくてね Hit the nail on the head man Yumiko has got a lot of good sense except for the whole murder thing I can't believe that Yumiko the murderer is actually like third best girl Sakaki coolly throws out a perceptive question without bothering to look up from her book prompting a flustered denial from Amane <laughs> Really? So, 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 Oh boy. Makina, your socks don't match. <laughs> Makina tries to snatch away the book with a surprise attack, but is forcefully rebuffed by Sakaki, who's clearly in a state of heightened awareness. <laughs> Makina clicks her tongue in irrepressible frustration. She'd been gambling on taking the big points of that opportunity, but sadly, her moment has passed with nothing more than a one point hand touch. <laughs> I would be scared if the music wasn't this upbeat. If the music was like creepy music or like like suspenseful music, I would be more scared. Yumiko is so likable precisely because of the potential for development. And honestly, I can relate to her where it's like, she just kind of wants to be left alone. And everyone else is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> she knows something's up. はい。万が一のことも by the way, for those of you who don't know, I just want to point out that cutting someone's hair qualifies as assault. I'm just waiting for that to happen. Amane and Makina quietly mutter to each other, careful to keep out of Sakagi's earshot. Although they're all... Actually, I bet they're all still minors, except maybe Amane. The palm of Sakagi's hand and her fingers are pretty much a package deal, so I'll award one point for the pair. With the addition of the wrist, Sachi's jumped into an early lead with two points. さっきの話をしたすぐ後にそんなことしてたら坂木さんに変な子みたいに思われちゃうわよ。それで、どうして私をバンバン叩くのよ。ポリュマコ。あら、ごめんなさい。お姉ちゃん間違えてしもたわ
And all of a sudden, we're playing Mortal Kombat. Wow. <laughs> that was insane. Seizing the moment once again, Sachi deftly pit plucks a button from Sakagi's uniform, then holds it out for inspection on the palm of her hand. <laughs> Yumiko brought a gun to school. <laughs> I just want to note that Yumiko always keeps a box cutter on her, and that's going to get brought out at some point. Sakaki's clearly dubious. In comparison, Sachi's beaming from ear to ear. She's got guts to launch a bold attack like that under such risky circumstances. Hey, Collins, you're back for the cruelest game of them all. In deference to our dauntless soul of a maid, I mentally award 50 points. Bringing Sachi's total to 52. She's regained her lead in a flash. Oh, no. This poor girl. There we go. <laughs> Change the title for you, Marty. It might take a little bit for it to show up, but it is now called Don't Bully Yumiko. <laughs> oh no. Sachi launches a follow-up attack. Pulling on Sakaki's school uniform earns her free points, bringing her total to 55. <laughs> This is this is uncomfortable to watch. This is like that cringe comedy that I hate so much. I'm not gonna add two tugs for a total addition of six points with a score of 46. She's hot on Sachi's heels. Sakaki's not completely oblivious. By this point, she's clearly realized that she's become the group's play fame. Her voice has a dangerous edge to it. No, no. Yumiko is actually exercising more patience than I would in this situation. Amine seems to have discovered a genuine split end. Sakaki falters for a moment, obviously thrown off her balance. Devious as Amine may be at times, I don't think this was planned out beforehand. Oh, brother! Stop this! Sakaki attempted to bury the split end in her thick hair, but Amine smoothly intercedes and takes up position behind her. Compared to the clearly unnatural interactions earlier, this is a convincingly normal development. From a neutral perspective, it would appear to be an action of pure goodwill and friendliness on Amine's part. Accordingly, Sakaki proves unable to offer any firm resistance. One, two, three touches of the hair. Of course, unbeknownst to her, Amine's racking up points by the second. My... <laughs> Sachi, what's the glare? <laughs> Having won Sakaki's trust for the moment, Amine no longer has any need to employ risky, aggressive tactics. As she slowly and steadily racks up the points, Makina and Sachi's faces grow increasingly tense with desperation. <laughs> Did they make, like, a huge cash prize for this or something? <laughs> also, I just want to note that if Yumiko finds out about this game, that's gonna hurt her relationship with everybody. Except us! <laughs> and that's when we go on the Yumiko route. Wow! How convenient! <laughs> Mm 
姉にお願いするからそんなに睨まないでよ。Yeah, Michiru, you're not winning this game, but that's okay. You, you win. <laughs> you win the moral victory. ありがとう、Michiru. Actually, not quite, because you still tried to do it. なんで私だけ I think the others are just better at avoiding her glares, Michiru. It's painful just to watch you. The girl's thoughts are written too plainly on her face, especially when she's up to no good. Sakaki's going to shoot her down every time. Perhaps this will inspire her to take a good long look at herself. <laughs> on the other extreme, Amine is already coasting into a leisurely victory lap. Comboing through Sakaki's long hair, or combing through Sakaki's long hair, she snips out split ends with scissors but she borrowed from Ichiru. As she's racking up another 10 points with every centimeter she harvests, she's already well into triple digits. Although Sakaki's keeping her expression blank, her reaction to Amine's fiddling with her hair appears to be something a little relaxed boredom. Uh, something like, like relaxed boredom. Putting aside the points in this silly context, it, it seems like they actually really might be getting friendlier. Oh, brother. <sighs> oh, brother. <laughs> Magana and Sachi try their best to claw back into the fight, but Sakaki's on high alert. Their hands are tied. At this point, it's no exaggeration to say the match is all but decided. Very soon, the chime heralding the end of the recess period will sound. At that moment, this battle will be concluded as well. Sitting comfortably on a commanding lead, Amine refrains from touching Sakaki's hair longer than necessary, bringing the grooming session to a natural end. Oh, please, Michiru. Stop with the crocodile tears. So, long since out of the running, Michiru seems destined to end with the match with an inept zero points. As Amine hands over the scissors, they slip through the dejected Michiru's hands and clatter against the floor. As a side note, don't get the idea that Michiru's only careless when depressed. This sort of thing happens all the time. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling something bad's about to happen? Dropping down the de uh, under the desks, Michiru crawls forward a bit in the direction of the group. Picking up her scissors, she immediately begins to stand up. <laughs> As Michiru's head lunges towards her, like the world's clumsiest uppercut, Sakaki instinctively reaches out with her hands to defend herself. Of course, in those hands, she's still holding the book she's been protecting all this time. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Poor Yumiko. <laughs> and Makina's laughing through her tears. Oh, Malkina. In the next instance, Sakaki's frozen in place. Her book, knocked violently out of her hands, now rests on top of her head. Apparently unable to process the situation, Sakaki stands perfectly still. Um, so, Marty, uh, Amine cozied up to Yumiko, actually managed to cut some of her hair, like, being like, you've got some split ends. Let me help you with that. And then Michiru dropped her scissors, fumbled them on the floor, and somehow knocked... Yumiko's book on her head, and now Makina's laughing. Sakaki's face is blank with dazed confusion. The hardcover book lies open on the crown of her head, like some bizarre helmet. It's a truly surreal moment. I find myself staring blankly, utterly lost for words. Makina has already burst into an explosion of tactless laughter, and Amine's trying and failing to contain her own amusement. Sachi, on the other hand, gazes with some bitterness at this truly astonishing bottom of the ninth. <laughs> It keeps... Okay, it keeps cutting off. Like, if there's five lines of dialogue, I can't see the bottom part. And that's happened a couple of times. That seems like it's... Very bad design. And in that moment, the bell echoes through the classroom, ending the contest. <laughs> oh, man. Um... Uh, Bottom of the ninth comeback. I figured it was something like that. <laughs> what was with the trumpet sound? At the next recess period, we've gathered in the hallway in an attempt to avoid Sakaki's notice. Hi. 
I think you're all well aware already. With a final score of 10,000 points earned by planting Sakaki's book on top of her head, Michiru is our champion. <laughs> oh boy. All right, Michiru, stop with the egotistical victory. <laughs> stop with the cartwheels and the war whoops. <laughs> Michiru may have been completely nonplussed by her victory at first, but upon grasping the situation, she instantly puffed herself up like a peacock. I think it's fairly clear the girl has a lot of backed-up resentment. Wow! Wow! Yeah, see, in moments like this, like, Sachi can say some very cutting remarks, I've learned. That's... rude. Michiru is basically Luigi. Luigi's great! Luigi's cooler than Mario. <laughs> Don't mind them, Michiru, they're... <laughs> Look, Michiru, they're being sore losers, but you're also being a sore winner, so... Both, both are in the wrong. How many times do I have to allow the word AF? Seriously, Twitch. <laughs> ah, man. Why am I going for Sachi? Well, I was going for Sachi initially before I saw her say all of these cutting things. And she's still one of the best! <laughs> Amane offers the group vague, soothing words in full Kanzi dialect. <laughs> she won by doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, actually, kind of. <laughs> Michiru's voice rings with bold confidence. Judging from her shift uh, stilted phrasing, it's mostly likely a complete lie. But the words nonetheless sound fairly convincing as they echo hollowly down the hallway. And at that moment, everyone else freezes in pure shock. With a quick survey of our surroundings, I soon learn why. Yumiko's standing right there, isn't she? Yeah, it made me approve AF again! I don't, there's a difference between being a savage and just being plain mean at times. Like, Michiru doesn't deserve all this abuse. I mean... She definitely shouldn't be acting all high and mighty when she wins, so... They're both in the wrong, for sure. But two wrongs don't make a right. I don't miss Amine mouthing the word idiot with a slightly smug look on her face, either. Her reaction uh, to defeat is to plot revenge, it would seem. Quite a woman. Nope, the opposite. No, I think not. Sorry. Why? The reason Autobot is acting like that is because this is an exception stream. Most of the streams I do are family friendly and I don't like swearing in chat. But if I'm playing a game like this where there's already swearing in the game, I don't particularly mind. But that's why Autobot's like, are you are you sure? I am not planning on doing all the Roots Prince Dusk. I'm just planning on doing two right now. Yep, here, here she comes. With a familiar, ominous sound, the shadowy figure that snuck up behind Michiru mutters a few ice-cold words. The smile on Michiru's face instantly hardens into a rigid grimace. Copious streams of sweat begin to run down her forehead along her cheeks. As a matter of fact, this is the least family-friendly game that I've played on my channel. <laughs> At last, aware of her plight, Michiru squeezes out a few whimpering words of reproach. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I just noticed a moment ago myself. Anybody who intentionally uses the double use instead of R's loses respect. Uh, Collins, I'm definitely going to do the Sachi and Michiru roots, and if I do a third, it'll be Yumiko's. I really don't care for Amine, and I really don't want to do Makina's root. Hey? 
底辺じゃねえ<笑>でも安心しましたミチル様にはふさわしい終わり方でほっとしていますジーッサーチー Stop being so mean to ミチルほっとすんな一見落着なのよさなあユミちゃんも分かってると思うけど当然あなたたちも絶対に許せない<笑> Exactly ほらある意味仲良くなったと思わない I don't care if Makina's root is important. I don't want to go through a romance between me and an eight year old. And before you say, but she's 15, she has the personality, appearance, and voice of an eight year old. You can say she's 15, it doesn't make it any less uncomfortable. You're such an optimist, Domine. I'm not planning on playing the sequels necessarily. <laughs> Story wise, Amine's route is the best. Yeah, I get, the, I get the feeling she might be like the oh, she's the true route. But doesn't change the fact that I'm not a fan. Yeah,、uh, probably the same thing as the rest of us. Retreat double time! Hey, we didn't have any part of this. Yumiko, we didn't bother you. This day would go down as the first time in the Academy's history that all of its students were simultaneously absent from a class. But it's said that no one involved dares speak the reason why. <laughs> 